Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Halloween Town. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get uh, as much leveled as I thought I would. Um, there is the detriment in uh, the newer version of Kingdom Hearts that um, uh, you it, it's kind of a hassle to uh, get to uh, get to fights. Uh, they they despawn after a little while, so I need to open a little bit more up. So I need to pro need to progress. So Mayor. Ghosts rise from the tomb. those tombstones. Check the tombstone in the order the ghosts appear. If you get it wrong, you're in for a surprise. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. You. You. And you. Oh. You. You. And you. Splendid! Now go look at the pumpkin. I sure will, Mayor. Oops. Not the pumpkin. Oh, hi. I have to take care of these guys anyway. Come on! Good. Good job. Come on. Damn it. Oh, thank you so much, Goofy. Damn it. It's alright. I believe these guys give me a special item. All the funguses do, don't they? I don't believe it's a particularly rare item. There should be more, shouldn't there? I'm fine with there not right now. Alright, head back into the graveyard with the pumpkin. Here we go. A jack in the box. Very cool. And now there's gonna be a fight. And then if I'm a dumb, I am such a dumb. It's all right, though. I'll just go ahead and proceed for a little while, and then when uh, I'll 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 complete Halloween Town before I actually do that, or actively try to do it. Um, yeah, because I do believe that I need, I do believe that I need those particular, no, I do, of course I do, to even unlock the ultimate weapon. They need to be at their highest level. So, the Moogles, that is. Because uh, I opened the synthesis shop. You guys didn't see it. Um, it was kind of, uh, it kind of deterred from the episode. It was, uh, ba I basically saw it as a waste of time because I crafted a couple of items while I was, uh, in there with the, uh, with the Moogles, uh, and I got a few good items, um, and I'll be getting some more good items in a bit, um, I didn't go back to Traverse, when I went back to Traverse Town, I didn't actually do anything with them, I think, so I'm gonna have to rectify that when, uh, I'm done here, um, because they should have some, uh, uh, better items to synthesize, and I have better items with which to synthesize. So, you know. Um, no, I won't, I won't bring that up. It's, it's way too pretentious even for me. Basically, it was a grammatical thing that my teacher used to say that kind of bugged me. My English teacher. But I, I, I won't get into it. It's very pretentious. So yeah. This should be one of the last enemies. 
before I, I go in to see the doctor. Okay, I, I could go back here. I was like, oh, I sure hope that he jumps over that house. Because I really don't think I can get back there. Oh, I lied. There's a couple more enemies. It's Kingdom Hearts. There are always enemies. There's always more enemies to fight. And yeah, it's a good thing that I'm doing this. It might be killing a little bit of time, but... Uh, I hope that you're like me and kind of want to spend a little bit more time in Halloween Town. Also, you know what you guys should do? Uh, when you're done watching me play this, you should uh, go to your bookshelf or wherever you store your games. And if you just so happen to have a copy, you should grab Kingdom Hearts and play it. I think... That I think that you will enjoy playing Kingdom Hearts right about now. Um, of course, if you can play it. Um, if you can, awesome. You should play it. If you can't play it right now, well, I'm very sorry. And I hope you get the chance to play it very, very soon. Um, because I think that you would enjoy it. If you can, the HD version. of uh, if, if you're playing the first one anyway. Well, even if you're playing the second one, uh, the HD version preferably, but if you only have it for a PS2, you can't go wrong with the classics. So, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, my two cents for ya. Okay. Head off into the lab. Because we've got that forget-me-not and that jack-in-the-box. And progress the story. Yes, this is it. He should have an exclamation point there, but oh well. This time it's sure to work. Take it. The nerve of those little hooligans stealing my work. Indeed. Well, let's get this going. And yeah, they, uh... It was, um... Area... Area, area. We've lost them. You're not knowing it, yeah. I'm talking about spawns. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's right, this, uh, it was plot progression, so New Heartless did come. I'm, I'm, I, I, I thought I could, uh, um, continue on without, uh, because, uh, without fighting because I had cleared it out earlier, but I'd forgotten that, uh, and yeah, basically what I was saying is, uh, Heartless spawn, uh, respawn every, uh, time you enter two rooms away from where you encountered them or to a save point and they do um stop spawning after a while of course um i'm gonna yeah yeah they do stop spawning after a while of course but usually that's um that's how uh their spawn timer works um so if you can if you can hit it right you can fight uh, very little. But, uh, yeah. Um, I usually try to fight as much as I possibly can. Uh, and that's kind of why uh, I haven't cut these just yet, if I haven't cut them. Is, uh... Yeah, I just, uh... I really need the, I really need the EXP and stuff like that, so... Uh, I hope you don't mind it too, too terribly much. And, uh, I know my voice is uh, pleasant to listen to. But I know I don't always speak, and uh, I'm not always—I don't always have the most pertinent of things to speak of. And I suppose I could have said to talk about at that particular point in time, but uh, you know, when have I ever not been pretentious? So yeah. 
Also, I'm making myself a little bit more comfortable uh, just sitting there talking and fighting on the camera. Wall on camera, I should say. Even though the camera's not on my face. I don't think you guys are going to uh, um, see me with face cam. At, le at least not very soon. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid that one for as long as possible. Um, well, for one, I don't even have a, a decent video recorder. Um, so, yeah, that cuts it out right there. Um, but uh, nobody needs to see this face. Um, you already get enough of it if you follow my social media and stuff like that, so... Yeah, you don't need to see this face. I'm a mixture between sloth and golem. Sloth from the Goonies, by the way. Anyway! Alright. So I'm very, very excited to be in Halloween Town, if you could not tell. Um, and I guess I already covered that in the uh, first part, where I uh, got you guys here. Where I got here. But yeah, as I think, uh, I, I did touch on it, but, uh, and yeah, I, I won't give you a list of, uh, my favorite Disney films. Well, I guess I could. Um, but, uh, yeah, as, uh, yeah, as I said, my favorite Disney film is, uh, The Jungle Book. Um, another one, I, I would say it's a close second just for the sole fact of, uh, Maleficent getting such a badass line. Well, Maleficent just getting badass lines in general. Uh, but uh, Sleeping Beauty, of course, is is a second, um, and I wanted to say close second, but it's not a it's uh, it's a tie between uh, the Sleeping Beauty and uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas because uh, Maleficent uh, is just such such a good villain. And I was trying to find the word, uh, a, a good word to use to describe her that wasn't good villain. But I think that's one of the points in time at which just saying good villain just kind of covers it. It's vague enough to where uh, you don't... Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's... She's a very good villain. And she gets so many badass lines and she's just so confident in her pure evil... And it's, it's great. And, yeah, it's... And, basically, it also gets those brownie points because, uh, uh when I was a kid, uh, and you, uh, when I was a kid, uh, I watched it, of course, and, um, she gets the line right before she turns into a dragon. is <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Now you will face me, and all the powers of hell. And, of course, being a kid, I was like, Oh my god, she said hell. Yeah. But, uh, no, but yeah, that's, it, she's truly a magnificent, malefic a malevolent character. And, and, yeah, it's, she is a very, very good villain, and I want to shake the hand of the actress who voiced her because she did it so so terribly well and uh, yeah but then uh, a close second is uh, Nightmare Before Christmas because it just has all the creepiness and of course it's uh, it's light-hearted creepy but uh, Tim Burton made um, so you can't really, you can't usually go wrong with Tim Burton made, uh, films. Um, what, uh, one, uh, thing, uh, that I would recommend to any Tim Burton fan, if they have not seen it, is, uh, the Vincent Price, uh, narrated story that, uh, was, uh, animated by Tim Burton. Uh, it was, there's this, uh, story that was animated by Tim Burton that was narrated by Vincent Price, it's talking about how this child wants to be Vincent Price, and I believe it was Tim Burton that wrote it. Um, but it's it's just so 
You can't go wrong with Vincent Price. If, uh, if Maleficent was, uh, devilishly good, then, uh, Vincent Price will ten times out of ten blow anything that you think is creepy straight out of the water. You cannot go wrong with a good Vincent Price cackle. Even Michael Jackson knew when he was doing his thriller, there has to be a Vincent Price cackle. And, yeah. You can't go wrong with Vincent Price. And I've said that, like, five times right about now, but it's true. Rest his soul. <laughs> and, yeah. And uh, has anybody uh, seen that picture? Of, uh, I don't remember the actor's name, but he played Senator Tarkin in uh, Star Wars. Um, but, basically, it's Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, and Senator Tarkin just chilling together, and it's such such an awesome picture. And they're just sitting there, so it, it's not inherently awesome, save for the fact that it's Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, and Senator Tarkin just in one picture. Um, yeah, I had a lot to talk about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of geeking out about the creepiness. Um, and that's kind of another thing, too. I've always considered myself a faux gothic. Uh, so I've always found a little bit of enjoyment out of the creepy and supernatural and stuff like that. Um, so pardon me about getting excited about stuff that is... Uh, probably not the best stuff to get excited about. Or it's seeming like the best stuff to get excited about, the creepiness factor and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, and that's another thing, too, that you guys should know. Always take enjoyment in what you have. Never apologize for that which you enjoy. Unless you're literally actively hurting people, enjoy what you enjoy. Don't have any shame. And that's something that I learned from Hank and John Green, too, is just be unapologetic in your enjoy, in your enjoyments. unapologetically enthusiastic about that which you love. And I do definitely enjoy the creepiness. But, unfortunately, but maybe even fortunately, so I can try to, uh, um, get those items and stuff like that from the, uh, white fungus. Uh, man, I'll, all I've been doing in this episode is fighting and not progressing story very much. Uh, but uh, hopefully it was a good episode. So thank you all so very much for watching. This has been Halloween Town. Goodbye.